And that interview was part of our Arts and Culture series, Canvas. Meantime, May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and our student reporting labs is exploring how food is tied to culture and identity. In Hillsboro, Oregon, student reporter Sandeep Rajesh Pillai of the Beaverton Academy of Science and Engineering has this story of a Cambodian refugee whose restaurant helps him heal from a tragic family history and provides a space to share his culture. I dreamt about it and now I'm living it. It's easy for me because this is what I wanted. My name is Saran Koo. I uh, was born in Cambodia in 1970, and I came to the United States when I was uh, 10 years old in 1981. When the communist rebels took over Cambodia in 1975, anything with, with knowledge and uh, intellectual stuff, uh, they don't want it anymore. They want to reset the country back to the year zero. My father was a well-known person in our community, in our town. He was a teacher. When the Khmer Rouge took over in 1975, he couldn't hide his identity. And so they took him away one night, in the middle of the night, and they uh, took him outside of town, and they beat him to death. When we were there, we were moved from town to town. My mother was put to work in work camps. And my sister and I were orphaned for several months. I was the one that had to look for ways to feed my sisters and myself and my grandmother. We were suffering a lot, but fortunately we made it. My wife and I, we wanted a venue where we can host a lot of people for events and stuff like that. And so we built this together with our own hands, pretty much. <laughs> I feel really good about what we do here. And my goal was to get closer to my community, uh, to be more connected and to have a better networking system. You know, we, we serve foods, but it's also more than just food uh, here at Mekong. We build relationship, we create good memories. I want to do more to help bring lights to what ha happened there in Cambodia and also I want people to not forget about the genocide. Cambodia has been underrepresented. Cambodia is more than just the killing field. Cambodia is a country full of rich culture, arts, foods and entertainment and, and everything else and so I wanted to at least shed some lights on Cambodia and Cambodian culture. And that is the news hour for tonight. I'm Jeff.